Check. We go to the beach with Kenny. As Bam makes his way on the Miami bus, I'm it's staying away from HBK. Uh, it's, it's, time. it's time for EJ's Meet the Satellite. Presented by no one. Oh, man. Unsullied by sponsorship. Since? Sponsorships. <laughs> 1989. There he goes, man. This is live TV. I thought right I was going to get hit over the head. No, nah, this guy's a professional. And he only hits. He doesn't hit anyone. Uh, um, so anyway, the, you know how odd it is, Chuckster, to have two major golf events within a week of each other? What do you mean? Because you got the PGA Championship yes. going on right now at Oak Hill. Yes. And a week ago uh, at the Legends of Chateau Alain, it was the annual, as Chuck calls it, Black Masters. And we have a report. Hello, friends. The fifth installment of the Black Masters is upon us from the illustrious Legends course at Chateau Alain in Brazelton, Georgia. And no Black Masters would be complete without Billy Mays and Papa Jack's providing the Masters like cuisine. And this year, father and son Ernie and Eric Johnson versus co defending champion Charles Barkley. <laughs> An underdog himself in an alternate shot match play shamble. Here's Ernie on the sentimental pairing. It's so emotional. I don't know. The tears are are flowing as I as I look at him wearing his Black Masters champion uh, champion jacket from last year. Nice roll, son. Thanks, Dad. Sure, son. It's like that. But I don't understand why he thinks he's the sole owner of the jacket. That's what bothers me about him. It's a team game. He didn't even he don't even didn't say, hey Chuck, you want to walk in with the jacket? He just wore it like he was wore it by himself last year. As they tee it up, no doubt the nerves were building. But they couldn't do it worse than OKC Thunder coach Mark Degnall in a recent Pro Am event, right? <laughs> they were all able to get that first shot going in the right direction. <laughs> but it was the back-to-back -back champ, Eric, who set the pace early. Even with clubs, he had to dig out of dad's basement just before the event. Going hole. This chip here clinched a win on the first hole, and underdogs missed putt on the next paved the way for Ernie to clinch the second. Johnson & Johnson, who are not affiliated with any production of extra-large soap bars, thought this thing might get wrapped up early. I guess we'll be done at the turn. <laughs> but the Chuckster had other plans. A great tee shot on the par 3 third left the Johnsons to concede the hole, and while some may subscribe to the theory that stogies make bogeys, Charles prefers the term cigars Momentum make pars. Momentum swing. Speaking of, at the fifth hole, the gentlemen were greeted by a messenger. You see, when you're Charles Barkley, people just show up and give you things. A friend of a friend of a friend stopped by to drop off some cigars. Don't be surprised if we get to the green up here and somebody shows up to give Charles a car. To the eighth we go, where Eric flawlessly punched out of the sand, much to the delight of his pops, who could not stop applauding the efforts of his son. No, really, 32 seconds of clapping. We counted. Eric would finish the hole, but Chuck was right behind him to stay three holes down. Going to the ninth hole where somebody will be waiting with a canned ham for Charles. <laughs> But the only thing to greet Charles on the next hole was another poetic pitch from Eric to put the Johnsons up four through nine. A dangerous man with a wedge in my hand. That's just bogus right there. On 12, underdog from a mile away said, put that on a t-shirt with a lag punt close enough to bring he and Chuck within three through 12 holes. But down four with four to play, Charles and underdog's chances rested on this. Underdog standing in a bunker, the ball in the grass at knee level and his putter digging into his chest. <laughs> and that was interesting. And that left just a nice and easy putt for Eric to finish things off. And then it hit him. Hey, good game, guys. <laughs> Did it feel as dramatic? watching it as I don't know I think play in it. the third time it just feels numb to me it's disappointing humiliating <laughs> or perhaps the right word is terrible as Johnson and Johnson clean up the competition at the 2023 Black Masters how do we look how do we look I don't okay know. couple of winners <laughs> 
try I just to want to apologize to black America. <laughs> black America, I let y'all down. <sighs> I'm coming back stronger next year. Underdog, we're going to come back next year. But I just want to apologize to black America for letting y'all down. <laughs> and congratulations to Eric. Who, Eric is unbelievable. Who carried our side. And like stay, shout out to Cheryl Ann, who had the ribs and oh, stuff working. Man, Cheryl Ann, we love the ribs, but... Black America, I'm sorry. Jeremy Walt or Walters over at uh, the Legends of Chateau. Yes, Walmart. yes, he was awesome. Pro out there. And, Charles uh, Barnett, thanks for my cigars. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, and Billy May, Billy Mays at Papa Jack's, thanks for the food. And uh, again, another, another Black Masters title. This time for me and my son. It doesn't get any Underdog. more emotional than that. Show. Underdog, we got to pick it up. <laughs> We'll see y'all Sunday in Miami. Yes, sir.